welcome welcome this is just such an exciting little project that we have I call it a project a garment a new thing to wear and once it's done it's ours forever and I love t-shirts because as we learned in the webcast last week they're the base in our layering and so they're just so fun to make a little vest to go over but I like them to be a little different and not just plain so I saw this it was so expensive, like over $300. And I thought, my gosh, that is genius. I wish, I don't know, I guess my brain just doesn't sit around and think of ideas. But I'm telling you, I love to go shopping because there's ideas just everywhere. They're just popping out at me and coming out from all over the place. So it was really fun to go shopping and really see this idea. And it's a great contemporary pull, pull together. So what it is, is it's color blocking with velvet. And obviously, and you could do it with anything that has a nap, obviously because velvet has a nap, they took and mixed the velvet up like we've all done it, except they did it purposely. So I'm gonna walk you through a few things to watch out for when you do it. I just love it. It'll make you look 10 pounds thinner, which, you know, that's a nice thing. Well, maybe not 10, but you know. And so it's all good, and I'm going to go back to the original and tell you what I did a little bit different and why I love sewing, because I did all the better things on mine, I think. And it used two yards of fabric, so that certainly wasn't $350. Wow, just think how much I saved. <laughs> all right, so let's get started. I, again, I used two yards of fabric, and when you do this, I did it with a velvet because I love the velvet. Number one, it's so trendy right now. And number two, because color blocking is really strong. So this particular velvet stretches in both directions. I think you could do it with one-way stretch, but I think the two-way stretch gave me more options. And I'll explain that here in a minute. I used pattern number 113, just your t-shirt. You can use 195, but you know, I wanted to add length. So that's 113, so I just use 113. All right, so that's my pattern, that's my, um, that's my fabric. Now, what, and this is a beautiful gray. We have it on the site. Many of you, I forget to say that sometimes. So it's a beautiful gray. We have it on the site. Um, the original only had uh, the color blocking down the front. The back was plain. And you know, guys, I've said this over and over. I hate it when they ignore the back. I feel like the garment's cheap and at $350, it's not cheap, but it's still cheap. I feel like sometimes I know you all know what I'm talking about. So I did mine in the front and I did the exact same in the back. So here we are. I started with, um, it doesn't matter if I show you in the front or the back, it's exactly the same. The pattern work itself, you're going to start off with three pieces. You just your front, your back, and your sleeve. And you're going to take and measure in two and a half inches. So it's five inches from, from these two points. And that's going to work. I don't care what size you are, um, doesn't make any difference. Five is a good number, will work across the board. But what the real top did, or the real top, the original, and what I did is I converged my lines because what we know about lines is when they go up and down the body and they converge slightly at the biggest part of us, it is a better thing. So from the bust, we can leave it at five, but once I got to the bottom, I left it at four. So, they, so my lines go from five to four just slightly they converge in, not enough that you'd notice, and yet the eye still is going in, and so it kind of tricks the eye and gives it a thinner look. So then all I did on the back, and I'm gonna lay these two pieces together, is I measured two and a half inches in here, two inches down at the bottom, bam, straight line. So you can see those are my two pieces. A lot of, I get a lot of emails like, would you make a new pattern? Wouldn't you make a new pattern? For this, I just don't think you could be accurate to not do a new pattern, but it took me about 20 minutes, trace the garment, draw the lines, boom, take them apart. Be sure when you do that, I would notch one place. You don't want to flip it this way, especially when you're doing this whole nap thing. You want to make sure your pieces are going right. And so I would label the pattern. I put a notch here, I labeled back and back so that I knew which way was up. You did the exact same. So now what I've got is this piece is going to go one direction and this piece is going to go the other direction. So I did the exact same thing with my front. I copied the whole front, 
measured two and a half inches in, that's my five inches, measured two at the bottom, bam, connect them, mark your patterns. I didn't actually add seam allowance on these. I knew I would remember. I just knew I would remember. And so again, those go the same direction. I'm only using three pieces, but then keep in mind you're, you're changing it into five pieces because I'm gonna bring in my sleeve. And remember that my sleeve has to go the same as my pieces. So my, my side, I guess you could call it, and my sleeve, I want to be the same. The front and the back, they're gonna be on the fold just like the original t-shirt was. So pattern's done. Just don't forget when you're laying out to add the seam allowances in those two places. All right, so that's the pattern work. Mark the pattern, be more careful. Again, the numbers were five at the top, four at the bottom, but that is all styling. It's total styling and it's totally your option. Um, I did the front and the back. You can do just the front if you want. Doesn't take any more fabric. You're still gonna need two yards. All right, and then now comes the fun part because you get to do you get to kind of play with the fabric and figure out which way you want to lay it so i cut three different directions there could be a fourth different direction but what i did is once i cut the the different directions you notice that this panel over here is lighter and this panel in the middle is darker so i put this panel on the sides and i put this direction for the front so that I wanted to get it lighter down the center, and that was gonna give me the vertical lines, the vertical illusion, the color blocking, all those other things. That's exactly what I wanted. So play with your fabric. In this particular case, these three pieces are all gonna be laid the same. These two, the, the stripe down the front and the back, are gonna be your contrasting. You could simply flip them up and down. I didn't, I actually flipped them. These pieces go um, along with the selvage. So literally the selvage was here. So the selvage would for me be at the bottom of this shirt and I put them that way and then these I put going the opposite direction. I put them with the length running with the length of the yardage. Again keep in mind the first one I cut of this I actually put it one way and when I picked it up it was darker than I wanted it to be so then I need to flip it the other way. So cut your main body pieces first. Just a suggestion, I, if you're using this fabric, put it with the selvage, so the selvage is along the bottom, and then contrast these other two little pieces. So this is just simple, easy, it's a t-shirt, but you know, t-shirt with a twist. I think I always like to give it a little extra. All right, so then what I did, um, just in sewing it, nothing different, except know that and I get questions like this a lot, and I, I forget sometimes to address them. But when you go to sew the vertical seams, there's a pattern making rule that vertical seams always press to the center, whether front, back, vertical seams always press to the center, side seams always press to the back. So because I know that's just kind of in my repertoire of knowledge with knowing patterns, I just kind of conclude and I forget that you guys may not know that. Sometimes we don't put that in the directions. So when you're pressing vertical seams, you press them to the center, same with the front and same with the back. Otherwise the sewing is exactly like the t-shirt. So this is just a fun, quick project, great fabric, great ideas, just genius, so simple. And yet, I certainly wouldn't have come up with it. Anyway, happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.